Hi, my name is Heath Allison. This is my first video in the, in the 90 video series. And to be quite honest, it's taken me about two weeks to get around it. So I thought about why that was and I realised, well, maybe I was procrastinating. <coughs> so I thought what in my first video what I'd do is I'd um, look into why... <coughs> Hi, my name's Heath Allison. Um, this is my first video in my series of 90 videos that I'll do over the next 90 days. I've been thinking about doing this as, in, as long as I've been aware of the um, challenge that Vic put, us, put up to us. And um, that was about two weeks ago and it's taken me this long to get started. And I started. I thought, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to um, talk about first? And I thought, well, maybe I should look at why it took me two weeks. So I realised that maybe I was procrastinating. And so what I did was I decided to do a bit of research to find out why the, the roots of procrastination, and maybe look at um, how it can be resolved and the steps of the steps of in, in, involved in helping to overcome procrastination, I thought I might share it with you. So, um, you know, by definition, procrastination is is um, putting off tasks over and over again, and especially important things that need to be done. And when, and unfortunately, when this becomes a habit, then it can actually inhibit your ability to achieve your goals and dreams. So let's look at um, how to overcome procrastination. So the first step is actually to recognise it, to recognise that you are procrastinating. And um, there's a few indicators there that I'll run through that um, you might identify with. So firstly, do you tend to focus on low priority tasks on your to-do list? Um, are you distracted by emails, for example? Do you leave unimportant items on your list to, um, for a long time, you know, not get it done? Uh, do you regularly say yes to um, doing unimportant tasks? And do you find yourself waiting for the right mood or time? Okay, so step two is um, work out why you're procrastinating. It could involve many of the following. For example, do you find yourself avoiding unpleasant pleasant tasks? Do you tend to be disorganised? Do you often feel overwhelmed by tasks? Do you have difficulty making decisions? Step three, adopting anti-procrastinating strategies. Uh, one of the really important things you can do is to reward yourself for doing or getting jobs done, you know, on tasks done. And the other thing is maybe to find someone and tell them what you've got to do and make sure that they check on you so you're accountable. And identify... It's good to identify unpleasant chart tasks, um, or the 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 um, actually identify um, the reasons why or the consequences of not doing unpleasant tasks. So if you're excuse me, <coughs> if you're disorganised, disorganised, here's how to here's how to get organised. Keep a to-do list. Prioritise. Prioritize and do the hard jobs first. Master scheduling and project planning. If you don't know how to do that, well, maybe you could do a bit of research and find out how to do it or study it. Um, set yourself time limits to getting tasks done and sticking to it. And focus on one task at a time. Now, if, if you find yourself being overwhelmed by projects, then you can... Oh, there's a couple of things you can do. You can actually break projects into smaller, uh, more manageable tasks and do them that way. Uh, start with quick, um, small tasks and um, get them done to get a sense of achievement and then move on to the longer tasks. Um, and, and if you're, if you're um, procrastinating because it, the task is un unpleasant, then be willing to give it a go. And probably more often than not, it turns out to be easier than you thought it would be anyway. And remember the unpleasant uh, consequences of not doing the tasks and reward yourself. So in the words of um, the great Norman Vincent Peale,
quote, the really happy people in the world are those who have broken the chains of procrastination, those who find satisfaction in doing the job at hand. They're full of eagerness, zest, productivity, and you can be too. So in summary, you know, the key points are to have a good chance of um, conquering procrastination is, is to recognise it um, early, that you're doing it, then identify why you're, having, you're procrastinating, and then have an action plan to overcome that procrastination. So that's the end of my first video. So um, I hope they get better after this. But anyway, so if you'd like to um, you know, be part of my future trainings and learnings, then you can always just press the button down below the video and subscribe. Or, um, yeah, so um, thank you for, thank you for watching.